today I will make a very quick update uh, on the markets uh, given the more than 1% decline we've seen uh, in US indices. Follow up with uh, the overbought and oversold sectors in Australia and uh, finish the presentation with uh, two high conviction buy ideas. So starting with uh, the Dow Jones, uh, we've seen the index trading in a very strong uh, uptrend since uh, November. And uh, Tuesday's price action was the first decline in 109 sessions that exceeded 1%. I note on the daily chart that there is a bearish divergence between the price and the RSI, which highlights that there is a good probability of the index declining to about 5% in the near term. That view is also supported by the weekly RSI. The weekly RSI turned down from above 80%, which suggests that uh, really the market had extremely extended run and it's extremely vulnerable, vulnerable to a pullback and there is not much room for mistakes here. Looking at the bigger picture though, I am very comfortable and very positive uh, over the long term. The RSI on the weekly chart is uh, in strongly bull territory. Uh, once we, we hit the first 80% reading, this doesn't coincide with a major top in the market. I believe we have at least one year uh, to see the market running uh, higher. Therefore, I see the potential uh, coming short-term weakness as a good buying opportunity. The Dow from here can decline to 20,100 points, but that level could be uh, slightly exceeded. Moving to our market. Moving to our market, we had a similar run uh, since uh, November, but over the past three months, uh, the XJO kept meeting very strong resistance at 58, uh, 33 uh, points. We've seen almost a triple bottom forming on the chart, and we see a deterioration in our leading RSI uh, indicator, which points to a consolidation in the next few months. What we noted yesterday is a break of the RSI below its support, which highlights there is a very good probability of the index dropping to 5,600 points. The key level to watch for us is the key support of uh, 5582 points, which is uh, the January low. As long as that low holds, we have a good probability of seeing the market correcting in time and keep trading sideways roughly between 56 and 5800 points in the next few months before we start gathering again momentum and uh, post uh, second leg up towards 6000, most probably in the second half of the year. So as long as that level 58, uh, 5582 holds, uh, we, we are going to see the correction in time. But if that level managed to be broken, I wouldn't be expecting a massive downside from there. And uh, the maximum downside on, a, on such a breakout would be uh, 5400. So the coming weakness would present a good buying opportunity. And I'm looking at uh, the sectors which are likely to provide us with uh, those uh, uh, buying signals very soon. Uh, we will first eliminate the overbought ones. The first and most obvious is the financial sector. It is the most strongly overbought sector and uh, there is a very good uh, probability we will see over the next couple of weeks uh, the major banks declining. The material sector has been trading in a correction mode for uh, minimum three weeks. I see a little bit more weakness coming and I would use that as a good buying opportunity in uh, S32. Blue Scope still, it's been one of our favorite uh, technical picks. And of course, we would be adding to BHP and Rio Tinto. Uh, consumer staples are also overbought. We recently sent out notes on uh, West Farmers and Ulvers that they are very good candidates of experiencing pullbacks in the short term. And gold, not quite overbought, but it's approaching that level. So I think that rally is likely to cool off uh, very soon. The, over, uh, the healthcare is mixed. We have uh, the CSL and uh, ResMed into overbought territory. So I think those stocks uh, are good candidates to pull back in the short term. 
but we have in Pedimate, Volpara, and uh, Healthscope being in oversold levels. So uh, you, it's not really a switch switch, but I see much more value in those three names for long-term investors. The oversold, the oversold sectors are uh, the telecommunications. I wouldn't be buying here because the charts still remain weak. And despite the oversold levels, I see further weakness, especially in Telstra. And my official price target over the long term is $4.10. Um, Vocus and TPG are likely to continue to trade sideways and build those bases. But I don't see imminent turnaround, so there is no need to be in those stocks uh, there. Oil is approaching oversold levels. So uh, our pick from the sector is oil search is trading in a very nice trading range. So I would be looking uh, uh, to add uh, that name uh, to the portfolio in the next couple of sessions. And uh, that's with the sectors. There is uh, one stock of particular interest uh, uh, today. That's New Farm. I've been having a buy on the stock uh, uh, for a while now, and yesterday we finally see the price break in above key resistance of $9.67. Uh, the breakout is quite positive. It has bullish implications over the long term, and I'm lifting my price target to $10.50 despite the stock being in overbought territory. So I wouldn't be trimming here. I wouldn't be taking profits. Even if the stock pullbacks, I would actually see this, this as a buying opportunity. And uh, I would be looking uh, to close the trade uh, around, around about $10.50. For long-term holders, I see actually a potential of the stock trading in the next few years to $11. And uh, our key calls for today, first is uh, premier investments. Uh, we've seen the stock trading in a strong downtrend uh, over the past year. But a very large inverse head and shoulders formed over the past four months. And yesterday, price action broke above key resistance of $14.58. That is a very strong pattern, extremely reliable. And I believe that the stock is going to turn around. First price target from here is $16. But over the next uh, few years, I believe the stock will revisit its previous high of around $17.50. So if you see any weakness in the short term, since we had, uh, since the RSI is already in overbought territory, I would be using this as a buying uh, opportunity. And uh, our last high conviction uh, call for today's mineral deposits. I've been having the stock on a buy uh, for a while. We've seen a correction over the past month. They've raised some funds uh, recently, and we see that uh, the selling is drying up. There is a very good support arising around 42 cents. And yesterday, we saw a short-term price reversal on the chart. And the RSI and the MACD generated quite good buying signals. So very happy to buy the stock here. With first potential price target is 55. That's 20% uh, plus from current price. And over the, the longer term, I can see the stock easily trading to around 70 cents. So to wrap it up, too high conviction by today's premier investments and mineral deposits. Thank you.